Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here. Welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, Millennium Dawn, Kenya. In the last episode, things got a little nuts. We declared our war on the Democratic Republic of Congo, and then they immediately joined the Baltic Black Sea Union. Which isn't great, but could have been worse. So we suddenly found ourselves at war with the Ukraine. Not the Ukraine, just Ukraine, Poland, and Latvia. And Moldova. Can't forget them. Uh, Turkey has declared war on Greece. So that's interesting. And then, for some reason, Israel and Syria formed a faction and attacked Lebanon. And then Lebanon immediately joined the Baltic Black Sea Union. And so now Israel and Syria are at war with Ukraine and Poland and Latvia and Moldova. And our two separate wars have merged into a single war, so we now have Syria and Israel as allies, in addition to our friend Sweden, who really... Not Sweden, Switzerland. Um, who really can't do anything because they're kind of... They're, they're stuck. Um, and Panama. Who... I'm not even sure they actually have any troops. No, they have zero, zero units. Absolutely nothing. All right, well. So, we are now fighting Ukrainian and Polish troops in Congo. And the Israelis have sent their troops to assist, and actually the Israelis are really helping us push this line. So we'll see how things go. It's going to be a bit of a slow crawl. Uh, as we work through here, more Israeli troops are on the way. They were able to defeat Lebanon. And uh, we're going to have to see how this goes. And then we still have the, the major war between the United States and its puppet China and the, the Russian bloc, which they are making headway. They were able to knock out the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. And they're beginning to push further into Russian territory there. And they are still fighting in Havana. Which it looks like that the Russian bloc has moved in a bunch more reinforcements to try to defend. But the United States has 177 divisions there, up against 41 opposing divisions. That is... Uh, that's a fight going on right there. Alright, so let's go ahead and pause this thing and let's see where we end up. I'm trying to build a navy. Alright, there's my 3D wax printers. China wants to establish a military base in our territory. You know what? We'll accept that. That is perfectly fine. Because it's the new China, not the old China. Production efficiency cap, military industry output naval yard output. We're going to keep on working through here to try to get our factories to just produce more. Shinzo Abe has been re-elected in Japan. I do need to start working on my own 
my own equipment here. Kuwait diplomatic crisis. I really don't care. I, I kind of got my own business going on right now. Armor personnel carriers and recon tanks we apparently need. Protests are up during change in Yemen. Years of dissatisfaction with corruption and human rights abuses in Yemen have finally boiled over in the form of mass protests across the country. Uh, while some protesters appear simply to simply desire substantial systematic reform, crowds of major urban centers have reportedly taken up the slogan, The People Want the Fall of the Regime, indicating that some favor a complete rejection of the political establishment. Police have responded to the protests with tear gas and rubber, bu rubber bullets. But there's little indication as to whether Abd Rabd Masar Hadi will seek to address the demands of the protesters or crush this challenge to his authority. Winds of change are blowing. Well, the winds of change are blowing everywhere. Right, how are things going? We have air superiority here. Thanks to Switzerland. Who, even if they can't send any troops, they're at least sending planes. So that's, that's nice. Yeah, we are shooting down their, their stuff faster than they can shoot our stuff down. We are losing aircraft. It looks like the enemy is starting to try to counterattack. did set priority to reinforcement to make sure that our troops in the field actually keep keep their you know stay supplied all right improved equipment the time to start working on my own tanks it might be time to start working on my own tanks. MBT 1975s. Hmm, looks like we're stuck. Four Corvettes. Nope, we cannot operate far enough. Maybe. Kenya Task Force One. We need an admiral. There we go. We have a fleet. What 
what I might need to do here is tell everybody to stop for the moment. Let them recover a little bit. How are we doing here? No well, manpower and equipment are fine. They just need some to reorganize reorganize. Revolution sweeps regime from power in Yemen. Celebrations have broken out across Yemen following the collapse of the outgoing ruler's government. The former dictator has been placed under arrest following the decision by high-profile figures in the Yemeni security services to side with the opposition. A caretaker government under Abd Rabu Masar Hadi has taken power until elections are held, but has stressed the temporary nature of its rule. Protests nonetheless continue, as may demand the complete dismantling of the ruling party and the resignation of all its members, as it continues to be closely associated with the outgoing regime. So are they becoming democratic in Yemen? I guess... One fleet is not going to be able to cover all of that. One task force. Well, at least you can get out there and start looking around. Re-establishing re the planning bonus. I could really use those, uh, those Swiss troops. Well, there's more protests in Yemen. mostly reorganized it looks like all right resume Israel wants to sell me 36 Merkava 4s and 1,000 MTAR 21s per month. I'll take it. small arms but I should now have a second military factory I do building guns Looming bankruptcy, Kenya's debt problem has gotten so bad we realis realistically have no chance of either paying it down or even 
meeting running interest payments. But though times are bad, we are not completely without options. We can get into the country to refinance our debt. This would allow us to significantly reduce interest payments. But any such help would come with strings attached. Your political influence over us would dramatically increase, limiting our independence from foreign influence. It would probably want military access as well. We'll ask for American help. In yesterday's top-level meeting in the United States between uh, Donald Trump and us, the Americans promised to bail us out. However, in rescuing us from bankruptcy, we will be forced to give the United States a long list of political concessions as well as grant them military access. That's fine. Finland has joined NATO. All right. Starting to wear down their organization. Slowly, but surely. Air superiority mission efficiency, air support mission efficiency. Um, we'll go with joint air operations. Vladimir Putin re-elected. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, we've definitely bogged down here. I'm trying to figure out if there is a way. Ah, my cipher has been captured. Send you guys back there to build Intel. All right, we are slowly starting to push through. They just keep on bringing in reinforcements. Hmm. 
And Ace Pilot promoted. Excellent. If you take as many risks as the brave pilot of the Canadian Air Force, Robert, M Robert Mutahi, a skilled pilot known under the call sign Imperator, has distinguished himself not only in returning alive, but in piloting his F-16C, fighting Falcon with immense skill. Recently, Robert was on a mission over Congo and was instructed to instrumental to the success of his critical encounter. Held up as a shining example of Kenyan courage, Robert's recent promotion has been highly publicized. Although the people may view war as more hell than glory, many are glad to see that there are still heroes to rally behind. Alright, so we actually have an ace. There you are. I'm starting to wonder if I shouldn't back off. Let the Israelis hold the line. And try and see if I can't conduct a naval invasion. Open up a front back here. And cut them off. It would take some doing. It would definitely take some doing. need enough fleets, enough task forces to cover all these zones. So what I might do is like, uh... No, it's like, uh, split this. Split the select the task force in half. So we're about to get another marine brigade. got some more infantry as well. Alright, well we're gonna need the ships anyway, so we, we'd have to wait till the ships finish construction. But it might be something that I try. If there's no further progress here, Further progress here, I might have to do something.
yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and actually just for the moment I'm gonna tell all my people to stop because there's no real point to continuing to aggressively push. It's just gonna get people killed and equipment destroyed unnecessarily. Yep, where we've taken 34,000 losses, they've taken 232,000 losses. So we can let them just kind of grind their manpower on us for a little bit. Let's see, we've incurred 22,000 casualties. Ukraine has taken 117,000 casualties. Alright, how are things going with this major war? Six hundred eight thousand losses on the Russian block side. One point one million losses on the American side. East Asian Pact. China, Japan, Vietnam, and Republic of China are in an alliance. They apparently are. So I guess China managed to get released or gain independence from the U.S. They're no longer a puppet. Now there. There might be something we go after here. What? How much... Plus point two. I want to improve relations with China. Wait for the auto save to finish here. We'll also improve relations over here. Got more. What are we missing here? Small arms. Well, we're, we're working on it. Self propelled artillery, recon tanks, transport helicopters. We're apparently missing. Alright, well, I'm going to need. I am going to need as many military factories as you can give me. Alright, well, we've got our jets going, we've got our self-propelled AA, which actually I can probably swap out for something because it looks like we've got enough. Large-scale 3D printing. Let's go for it. Is there... something I need? Self-propelled artillery. Is that even something that I can actually make? Do I actually have that? Yes, I have some old self-propeller artillery. Go ahead and build them then. I need at least probably two more task forces. I mean, I could split them down even further. So we just have each each 
Corvette and its own task force. We have full control here. So what I would probably want to do is our Marines. Well, we, we would want to probably have all of our armies. Okay, let's see here. You guys. Let's create one one large naval assault army. You merge into there. You guys merge into here too. Eleven. All right. Delete any orders you have. Begin planning a naval invasion. To there. Now, thing is, oh, it has eleven in it. Okay. Um, let's move one of these there. Oh, I probably need my landing craft first. Ninety-five days. Okay. Well. You guys head for there. Hope the Israelis can hold that line right there. Because they're the only thing there right now. Seven days, 86 days. We're getting there. Mexico has joined the Russian bloc. Oh, that's this could be interesting for the US. Well, they, they have armies there, so there they go. So, I think we'll go ahead and end the episode here. And then we'll get this research done. Oh, rapid dominance. Let's grab... Uh, Let's see, initiative plus 5%, decryption plus 1%, initiative plus 2%. Um, 271 days, regardless. All right, well. We'll grab that. We 
We've got another infantry brigade trained and moving to the front. Pretty soon we're going to start making another army. Which is good. We have plenty of manpower. It's just equipment. Just equipment. It's giving us fits. And I do need to be ending the episode, so as soon as this auto save is done, there we go. Actually, one thing I want to see. Can I build? No, I can't. I need more naval options, but we'll, we'll get there. So for now, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.